Oh my God, special is the It Gets Better story, honey. <laughs> I'd say we were really drawn to just honestly the honesty, the authenticity, the boldness, and the shamelessness of his voice. You had a lead character whose voice was original, uh, the most original that I had sort of come across. Both Ryan and his story are just so unique and endearing and important. It's a story that hasn't been told. I remember reading the, the scripts all in one sitting and just loving it. I think it treats themes like disability and sexuality in a very comedic way. I, I was so taken by Ryan's voice. He was so vulnerable and yet so funny. And I just feel like watching people tell stories that are just a little off center and a little left of center, but very, very wholesome and also making too soon jokes. I just think that's such a worthwhile thing. Body positivity is something I struggle with all the time because I'm like gay and disabled, which is not like exactly like winning the lottery. It's really hard to be positive in this world. I think that there's a lot of like body issues within the gay community and like looking perfect and stuff and you just don't see normal bodies on screen. We're children and then as soon as we hit puberty, we are hit with so many gender roles and body types we should be aspiring to and skin colors we should be aspiring to. I wanted to pair rhyme with someone who can relate to just the mental gymnastics you go through every day as a minority to appear palatable to everyone around you. It's funny, like I like people will be like, oh, you've never acted before. I'm like, well, I am a gay disabled man, so there's been plenty yeah. of acting. <laughs> I, acted, I acted straight, I acted not disabled, like da, da 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 Like I feel like just moving through this world, I have learned how to perform and be a certain way so people cannot be threatened by me and my differences. I think anytime you say virgin loses virginity to a prostitute, you're like, hmm, great. Like, it sounds like it could be dirty or illicit or full of shame. And that was exactly what we didn't want to happen. I got the energy of it, that this guy was there to help someone feel comfortable around something that they might feel uncomfortable about. I've had experiences with sex workers. I kind of mirrored this out of my own positive experiences. Just like, kind of like, because sometimes it is, you, you have a genuine connection. And I just think it was important to go like from the beginning to the end. You know, this is not something that you see a little bit of a smooch at the top and a little bit of smooch at the end and, and sort of be done with that. Like this is the process. Like you really want to feel what Ryan is feeling as this is happening. I've just been frustrated with like the lack of uh, gay sex representation. Like I remember I saw Call Me By Your Name, which I loved, but when they panned away from the sex scene, I thought it was like truly psychotic and like I became enraged. I wanted to create a show that was basically about people starting their lives for the first time at completely different ages. Karen has spent her whole adult life trying to make Ryan feel okay about who he is. Karen and Ryan have been kind of just like attached to the hip because initially it had to be that way. In, in preparing him to have a life, she has literally not figured out who she is. I think in some ways it's a lot easier to be codependent because it makes you not have to look under the hood of your own life. And you can just kind of funnel all your energy and attention into someone else's and that can be your whole world. And you don't have to address any fucking skeletons that are in your closet, so it's very convenient. The most amazing thing about being a queer person is that a lot of the time, you get to choose your family. I think that once you get like a gay tribe, your life just improves like 40 million percent because you're with people that have gone through like, there's just shared experiences. You know, you get to find people who bring out the best in you and who teach you more about yourself than you even knew of yourself. Ryan's relationship with Carrie, it, it, it takes the burden off, it shares it shares the load, and it's and it and it's it means he feels safe. That is what queer people do best. It's one of my it's one of my favorite things about being a gay person is the incredible people who have come into my life because of it. I hope audiences take away from special that being gay and disabled is not like we're living some weird fringe bizarre life that they can't understand. Because people's inability to empathize with things that have not affected them is like bone chilling to me. So if I have to make a goddamn TV show so people can get it, so be it. <laughs>
it meant a lot to see not only personal representation, but to see that like we're finally at a time where you can open up and everyone has stories and they're being told.